Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. Now I'm doing an update here on the progress this year of my um, one of my Asian pear trees, which is growing in a container. Uh, this variety is Shinziki, which as you can see has the, has the paler gold colored skins with the flex on. Now, what I wanted to discuss is what I've been doing to try and preserve them this year because last year I had a complete disaster I lost basically I lost every fruit last year there were only a handful set and I lost every fruit to the codling moth problem which was a complete disaster so I decided this year that I was going to bag all the fruits although in actual fact I didn't bag that one and I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't as it's looking stunted, it's probably got a codling moth larvae inside it. But I've bagged all the fruits on here, and some of the bags have got one fruit in, and some have got two fruit in. Now, I'm going to be honest, I've left too many fruits on this plant, but after the disappointment of last year, I wanted to preserve as many as possible. Obviously, if you've watched my videos, you'll be aware that I've planted it into a much larger um, fabric root pot this year and it seems to have bounced back from the state it was in because it was looking a bit weedy last year but really when you're growing container fro growing fruits like these even in a largish fabric bag um, you should not be leaving as many fruits on as I have um, probably about one every six inches centimeter stem would be ideal now for example I left two on here because I was expecting one to fail and they've both actually taken but the problem is when you leave when you leave too many fruits like these ones here apart from the weight and the way it's dragging down the stem which isn't doing the plant any good although sometimes that strengthens the stem because it thickens up as you can see I've got four small fruits in here which will be edible but they're not they're not so satisfying to look at whereas where i've left perhaps one or two in a bag particularly this here you can see the fruits are actually up to a decent apple size now i don't think they're, they're almost getting to the point of ripening and they'll probably be edible from about the middle of, or nicely edible and sweet from the middle of september and obviously having the bags on them is protecting them from uh, caterpillars and grubs but it won't necessarily stop the birds pecking through when they spot them but I really should have thinned the fruits like I have here so you then get a nice sized decent undamaged fruit but as I said I lost so many last year all of them to the codling moth I wanted to cover myself and save a few but it doesn't do the tree any good because obviously the branches are hanging down so much because these fruits are extremely heavy in total i've left one two three i've left seven fruits on the lower part of this branch and you can see it's bent it over almost double now there is a risk that, it's, that it would break but it hasn't actually done that and i'm wondering if i should just put a cane on it and a strap just to give it a little bit of support because it'd be a shame if it snapped now um, but I'm, as I said I'm pleased with how they're doing and I've got one more to show you as well if you're still watching the video I actually had one fruit set on <coughs> my uh, I think it's Kumoi not the one that I've got in the ground let's have a look at the label that's yes, kumoi and what excites me about the kumoi is it's a different it's a different variety it's the one that has this sort of golden golden bronze color to it it's the first time i've ever had a fruit set on that particular variety now it is a smallish fruit but it seems to have escaped the codling moth i can't see any damage on it and to be honest it looks like it'll reach full maturity which I gain I think will be probably the middle of September I'll be watching it closely just in case the squirrels or birds suddenly decide to try and peck or chew their way through the net but it's quite well hidden here 
underneath the other leaves which is why I've left it but that's the one I'm really excited to taste because I haven't tasted one before so that's a kumoi but you know these are progressing well some are a little bit later looking than others that's more of a greeny color but you can see these ones that are turning a golden yellow are getting very close to being edible now so um, we should get a few tastings this year and I said this variety is Shinziki and uh, as the tree strengthens, which I hope it will do next year, we should get a few edible fruits. I'm just, I'm just looking and seeing what's inside. Nothing on there. So I thought for a minute it was an insect inside there. So anyway, they'll be edible. They'll be edible soon. And I, I had one rot off, which I've removed from the tree, but the others look fine. And then maybe next year, if we're lucky, I've got also next to it, I've got a Nijisiki and the one I put in ground, which came from Frank Matthews, which looks lovely, is an Olympic or Korean giant. And that may, that may well fruit from you next year and probably more chance of holding a couple because it's in ground. So that was an update at, for at the end of August on my Asian pears or Nashi pears. Thanks for watching the video. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, of course. Share the video if I think anyone's interested and click on the bell to get updates on new videos when they come out. See you all soon. Brett out for now.